Now, regardless of how you feel about the controversy surrounding Hogwarts Legacy, I'm actually a big fan of the game, and I'm a huge fan of Harry Potter and the Wizarding World as a whole, and you can't deny that Hogwarts Legacy is a very beautiful title. Running around in this world just looks amazing. Looking up at the castle? It's, <laughs> it's next level. And I'll probably end up throwing this game into our bench line up here on the channel because it's honestly not all that easy to run either. Most of the time my 3080 is handling it on high more than fine above 100 FPS, but in certain areas in the world, particularly Hogsmeade, we tend to see massive frame drops. But we're not here today to talk about my 3080. Today I want to talk about the Intel Arc A770 going toe to toe in this game with AMD's Radeon 7900 XTX. This week we saw Intel drop a gaming driver supporting Hogwarts Legacy before Team Red and Team Green even had a chance to do so, as well as this neat little chart from Tech Power Up, showing benches for modern day GPUs. The bench was ran at 4K Ultra with ray tracing turned on. The 4090 was only hitting 36.5 FPS, so keep that in mind. This is some demanding game performance here. But what was more interesting to me was that the 7900 XTX only averaged around 6 FPS in this bench, with most of Team Green beating out every single card of Team Red, stretching back to the 3060. The only card that AMD beat was the 8 gig 3050. Certainly not a card that you would be running modern AAA titles in at 4K Ultra with ray tracing turned on. Now for the fun part, the Intel Arc A770 was well above halfway up the list, averaging 17 FPS in the 4K Ultra with ray tracing test. The only 3000 series Nvidia card to beat it was the 3090. This is insane. Yes, it's only one game, it's a brand new game at that, but frankly, the more impressive thing here is that the Arc A770 is a $350 GPU. In fact, most of the time, you can find it at Newegg and at Micro Center for $350. The 7900 XTX is a $1,000 GPU. Let that sink in. We are over doubling performance on 4K Ultra with ray tracing turned on a brand new AAA game. On a $350 GPU over a $1,000 flagship graphics card. Are you not entertained? This is what we need in the GPU space. Green and Red have been playing games for so long they forgot what playing games was about. And it's not like all companies aren't underselling products to keep prices high, but AMD, if Intel can almost triple your performance and almost quarter the price, then why in the f do you think that you can get away with this type of product at a thousand dollar MSRP? Hell, the 3090 only beat the A770 in this test by 0.6 FPS on average, 0.6. Again, this is only one title and the Arc GPU lineup is anything but amazing, at least for right now, but this is beyond exciting. This is competition that we need in the space. Today it's Hogwarts Legacy, next week it's something else, and a year down the road it's the whole goddamn industry. And as long as Intel can keep the prices right while boosting performance with these driver updates that they keep coming out with and pulling out numbers ahead of both teams with offerings like this, we have a real shot at a more budget-friendly maker in the space that is also pumping out a solid product. If Intel can get a hold and prove that they're actually here to play, Nvidia and AMD are in trouble if they keep up with their current ridiculous pricing model that they right now have. Sound off down below. I would love to know what your thoughts are about this whole, this whole thing. The, the big issue is that GPU makers in the space, for some reason, think that they can just price their products at whatever they want because they're the only things out there. And I've been trying to have hope for the last a long time. Since the pajama party started and GPU prices went to absolute shit, I knew that at one point they would have to come back down, but now Nvidia and AMD seem to think that their MSRP on their flagship graphics cards can be what that was. Gone are the days and the old times when next gen GPUs that were replacing previous SKUs of the previous generation would just be the same price. And unfortunately, that's not the way it is right now. However, with Intel's current lineup and their, their offerings dropping the A750 down to 250 bucks, the A770 having performance like this in Hogwarts Legacy, it's bananas to me. Absolute bananas. They're like, there's no way that I have any doubt that Intel is actually here to play. And like I said earlier on in the video, Intel Arc GPUs are anything but amazing. But this feat is amazing in itself. The fact that we're almost tripling performance in Hogwarts Legacy with the A770 over the 7900 XTX is mind-blowing. 
Is it not? Does that not get you excited? Because that should absolutely get you excited. The fact that their flagship GPU, the A770, their top of the top, their most expensive card, is currently being found for around $350? That should excite you. That should excite everybody and i see a lot of people online just praying and hoping and wishing for intel's downfall with their arc gpus but <laughs> you should be hopeful that gpu market competition is becomes this on a, on a normal basis not just in one game but in every game because if intel can do that with this and they can continue to do that with more modern titles and older titles alike amd and nvidia have no choice but to actually release a budget option that is powerful enough to compete with that at that price point they are too comfortable right now thinking that they can pump out a 1500 dollars msrp 40 series graphics card or a thousand dollar graphics card msrp that isn't even touching the arc a770 in hogwarts legacy are you kidding me a th you think that's worth a thousand dollars you think that's worth a thousand dollars people that are talking about arc you think that's worth a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars? I don't know, man. I said my piece, I guess. That's just how I feel about it. I would love to know what your thoughts are about it. Guys, that's the video. If you liked it, like it. Subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.